Okay. So we are just going to spend a little bit of time talking about getting Pinterest ready. So images from square to Pinterest size, and then how to make sure that they are optimized and where we want them to go. So when we're pinning, the reader that's seeing the pin gets the best experience and then they get to our site, which is what we want. Yay. Yay. Want yes. 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 Praise the Lord. <laughs> right. And I'm going to share my screen. Oh, let me share one. Okay. And you can see my Canva. Okay. And Jamie, you have Canva for work. We already figured that. Yes. Yes. We have did. you branded it? Yes. Okay, so your brands and your logo and your fonts, they're all set. I think so, but I will check. I know the color, the brand colors are. Okay. I'm not sure about the logos and stuff, so I'll have to go in and do that, maybe. Okay, so what I do when I am getting a post ready, I, so I focus on Facebook and Pinterest. So obviously you're going to modify that for you. You're going to do you. So if you're you know how you know how your feature image is, what size it needs to be, if you like to share it on Instagram first, wherever it is, you're gonna pick, you know, that piece. But I always start with Facebook size image. So the Facebook app is the size that I start with. And I literally take the last one I did and open it. And it always tells me this. So I don't know why. Wow, it's really big. How about be small? Okay. Then I go over here to file and I make a copy. That leaves that image alone. And I have <laughs> still the gigantic size. <laughs> okay. Um, and it saved it as a copy. I'm going to change it to whatever. So here, why don't I just do what it's going to be tomorrow? So Surrender. Rename it. Ah, I usually tell myself it's the feature image. And I pick it at whatever the feature image is, wherever I like to share directly. So I share directly to Facebook. So this is the right size for Facebook. So it doesn't cut off things, you know? Yeah. All right. So then I copy this page down. So I have two of them. And I do this so that my branding is consistent. Okay, so if you find me anywhere, you're going to see some similar things every time. Every time you're going to see that my site's URL is at the bottom. Um, I use an overlay of some sort so that the words stand out apart from the picture. Um, and my overlay is going to be one of my brand colors. I always pick it's either going to be my, me, my brown or my purple or my off-white always so you always recognize that and can we just pause a second yes. is there a, the overlay where's that little lovely gem awesome here so i'm gonna empty this okay and okay in your elements okay mm -hmm. we have shapes mm -hmm. i like this first square because you can make it long or you can make it tall. Mm -hmm. Some of the other ones will stay a square or they'll stay a rectangle. You can't manipulate them. But okay. this first one lets me do all of that. Okay. Okay, so um, so I'll pick it. I will also, while I have it picked, I'm gonna come up here to this little, I don't know, makes me think of like a NASCAR racing flag. And where? I, where is that on there? I don't you, so if your box is there, you might move your box with our pictures down. So it says like copy, arrange, and then this little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can make this as dark or as light as I want it. My reasoning for using it is to make sure that you can still see the picture, but you also can clearly read the words. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can change its color. I can make it whatever I want it to be. Um, you can even go in and pick a different color. You can put in the little hex code, whatever the hex code is. You can pick it from the little wheel. 
which is always lots of fun. Mm -hmm. I end up doing that in the holidays to yeah. make the color because holiday colors never match my brand. So I just go off brand, just go rogue, then who cares? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now I like this, um, this frame piece in my images because I can pick any picture or photo and it will resize it correctly. I don't have to think about that. Oh, and how did you get that? Yes, so let's say I accidentally deleted it. Oops, what happened? I can go over here to layout and pick a layout that is obviously a photo of something and then delete what's on top of it and it'll be there. Okay. It is also in the elements. If you go to frames, but there are a lot of them and I always pick the wrong one. <laughs> like, okay. Like, so you could have a frame where you have a little picture, a little picture, a long picture. I mean, you can have it where it has all these different things on it. And inevitably, I'll have the wrong one. I'll pull it in. And then I have some wonky, like, shape right in the middle of my graphic. Yes. So I just figure they know what they're doing, and I let them be my template. Okay. Okay, so then I will pick whatever, I usually pick pictures of couples or pictures of women. So let me think tomorrow is all about like surrendering to God. So I'm probably gonna do a picture of a warm woman in it. Okay, so I can type it in up here and tell it photos. And I'm gonna tell it free photos because <laughs> I don't wanna pay for it if I don't have to. Amen. Right? And yes. I don't know. Maybe we'll go with her. She looks like she's surrendering. And I don't like how it positioned her here. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to crop the photo differently. So, I don't know. We'll see what that looks like. I don't know. Maybe I don't need the picture after all. It's kind of funny. Let's yeah. I don't know. I just go until I see something that tickles my fancy. I'm not think about one. Okay. So if you just click it, it's going to put it there not sized. You want to make sure you drag it over. Okay. And it fit her in there really well. That looks good. Mm -hmm. And because I already have my branding in my other picture, I can just drag things down. And drag all of my elements down, then I don't have to remember what they were or how I found them. If it works, it works. Okay, let's bring it down. I think it's probably going to be something about what is it? Something about So it told me I spelled it wrong. I love it when it tells me that. I know, me too. Praise the Lord for all the little helps we get. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can then, you know, resize the text to look like whatever I want. That seems a little too big. Let's see. I can also space the wording differently. So I can change the space between the lines to be whatever I want. Mm -hmm. I can space the letters between each letter. It can be squished. It can be more spread out. Okay. And I don't know why my colors are not looking so fabulous here. You can see it in half. A brown picture. I like brown. Just my yeah. Okay, so you can change the color in any part of it that you want. So if that makes it stand out more, yeah. Yeah. All right. So literally, you can change whatever. You can change the font if you want a different font. This is just my branded font, so I always use it. It could be all in caps, not in caps. You can okay. Just do like anything. You just play around with it and find the one that says, hey, this is Jamie Hall, and that's going to be everyone notices. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. So, 
whenever I download it, always a PNG. That always makes it where um, it's optimized best for Pinterest. So if we were doing this, I would download it, but we're gonna pause. Okay, so after I have this and like that, is perfect for my post. I am going to resize it. So I just want the Pinterest graphic. It's going to be this dimension that is what they're saying right now is the best for Pinterest. Um, they change their mind often, but Canva is pretty good about changing things right along with them. So if Pinterest says, hey, we're not going to let you do 700 by 1100. It needs to be 200 by 500. Canva will come in here and make changes. So, I love mm -hmm. that. Yay. Yes. Thing to think about. Yes. Amen. All right. So, I'm going to abracadabra and resize it. Okay. It left the other one alone. I'm actually going to make sure it saves and close it. And we're going to work over here in the Pinterest side. All right. So, I just for simplicity make it the same because what's gonna do well on Facebook, that size is good for Facebook, but that size won't do well on Pinterest. But if the image and the words and everything else are good, then I'm gonna have one I save on Facebook, this one I'll save on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna resize everything, because obviously this is more room. Uh, how about that, and then we'll Arrange the words a little different. And that's it. So I would download it. And let's see. I'm also probably going to do a little keyword searching just to see what um, things to put in my alt description when I save it in my post to pin. So let's do that for a second. Go to Pinterest. And in Pinterest, in this top bar, um, I can search for keywords. And it's just going to show me. So let's see if it works. Okay. okay, this first little section, the first ones that pops up, these are the most frequent searches on Pinterest for those two words. I'm going to add in the rest. So when I put in my description after I upload that to my website, I am going to say biblical quotes, biblical advice, biblical quotes with scripture. So that when people go to Pinterest and they search those words, my pin is going to come up in their results because it's in my description. Okay. Okay, so here, let's do that. Do you know what your um, keywords are that you frequently try to rank for? Uh, mentoring and millennials. Okay. Do you do some keyword research before you do stuff? I do not. Not always, but I, I need to be very um, faithful about that. So what's good about it is once you know what the most common searches are, you just just go for those keywords over and over and over again and just keep adding to it until you start seeing yourself come up in the search results. And then you go check out that pen and see which ones did the best and you start using those. Okay. Or mentoring moms is fine too. Let me just say mentoring. Okay, so in mentoring, these are the keywords that come up. Hey, what did I do? Okay, so mentoring activities, quotes, activities, activities. Oh, let's just stop there for a second. Yeah. Okay, just mentoring. And then this top row up here mm -hmm. gives you more keywords to add to it. Okay, so if you were going to say Christian mentoring, for example, you would come in and then this row gives you even more. So this is how you can go about finding like those long tail keywords that you hear people talk about. Is yes. Just keep adding a word and keep adding a word until you can see what people are searching for. Okay. 
So I don't know. I think it would have just where it looks good to you. Well, there's no moms up there, huh? There's no moms in there. That's not something that people are searching for. Okay, so we well, there's a mom. Oh, well, there's so. a mom. Let's see. But then there are no more words, and so people aren't searching for that very often. Okay. So you All might right. go back one and see what else. Maybe a. Nope, that still takes us kind of to the end, which would be fine. Mm -hmm. um, or we could do you. You could do um, tips. Okay, yep, and let's see. So you can kind of see how many people are specifically speaking to this too to get an idea for what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Now, if it, at the top, if there aren't any more suggestions, then this is really not a popular one. Is that what you're saying? It's not as popular. It doesn't get any further, or you've got the whole long tail keyword there. So Christian mentoring tips. Um, so if you were thinking like four moms, we would see there probably isn't a whole lot there. It's going to give us the same, the same group. Although, okay. Maybe a couple of things. So you just kind of play with that until you find, and I think I've got, I don't know, I think four or five that are my main long tail keywords. Okay. Um, and I choose them over and over again. Okay. All right, so let's see if we're going to add the image. So I'm just gonna, not yet, okay, all right. So I'm gonna bring it in and I have it, it takes a second for it to come into mind because I use WordPress Smush to optimize how much space that image takes up on my site. So it still gets to be as big as it is, but they, I don't know, I think about it like, you know those like, machines where you put everything in a bag and the vacuum cleaner hose and it sucks all the air out of it. Yes, right. That's kind of what the WordPress smush does to images. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I like that. If, if you get too many images and they're too big, it slows down your site speed. All right, so I'm gonna put the alt description here. And I use the same alt description as I use the regular description because I use Tailwind, and so Tailwind grabs the wrong thing sometimes, and so I want it to grab exactly what I want it to see. So, and then I'm going to give it some hashtags and biblical marriage advice. Christian living. Oh, I can't tell. I wish I had a good spell checker over on this side. <laughs> so, oh, oh. And I'm going to copy and paste that down here so it's in both places in case they grab it from the wrong one. The alt text is supposed to be what Google grabs um, so they know what the picture is. And they say keep it, I don't know, I've heard several different things, but they say keep it shorter, but I haven't noticed it really hurt anything. So. And do you have the parentheses on the end on the right for a reason? Oh. Sometimes I put it in parentheses. I don't know why. Okay. I, I wish I knew just for <laughs> same reason. I wish I knew why I capitalize some things and forget to capitalize other things. All right. So we've got an alt text. We've got a description. We're gonna update it. All right. So if it weren't in a post, and we'll just give it some more. No big deal, and I'll fix it later. Oh, um, that's a good picture. Oh, that's supposed to be published. So I just take this off.
but it's not doing so much, so it must be good. All right, so I will have my feature image set, and then just a little bit into it, I'll have a Pinterest size image. That way people see it right away and they can pin it if they want to. They might not want to. Let's see if I have six seconds to post. Kind of watch the behavior for a minute. All right, um, so we're going to pin it. So I always pin it to my blog board and then from my blog. So I pin every image in the post to my blog board. And then I pin from that blog board to my best of board. I have a personal account and a business account, and it always logs me into the wrong one first. I need to be logged in first. Okay, okay so we'll pin it to my board. So my main board. Then we'll go back over to Pinterest and I'll pin it from that board to my best of board. So immediately it's already in Pinterest's algorithm twice, which is good. Best of. All right, now if someone comes and finds this pin, when they click on it, it's just going to take them to that block post. Yes, okay. So I have a question. When you are on the dashboard, if, if you have like your best of and you want to keep it at the top, is there a way to do that? I was thinking I could drag it and drop it, but I, I can't seem to do it on mine. So once a pin is there, they keep it in a particular order. So what I will do a lot of times, like I have, I don't know, like my top five posts that get the most um, traffic and I will if they are getting if they are getting pushed down in my best of board before a challenge or, or whatever I will find them and delete them from this board and repin them so, okay so you can't drag and drop no okay so I googled it and they said you could but you can't okay so I'm not it's not me so you just can't okay. I have not been able to do that so I will just save it here and then come back down to the old one and delete it. Okay. And it won't affect anything to delete it. It won't delete it from anyone else's because every time you pin something, it creates a unique pin ID. So you can do it that way. Now, in your, um, in your profile here, you can yeah. drag and drop boards. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean for the board. Like yeah, how do you do that with the boards? Now the drag and drop that's on your thing, I don't, I, that is not shown up on mine. Well, I don't know it, why. It just showed up on mine a few weeks ago and I have not pulled with it. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you just grab it and move it. Okay, all right. Well, we'll just try it. I'll keep trying. And then occasionally Pinterest will go through some changes and they'll be all mixed up again and you'll go in and be like, what happened to my boards? And you have to yes. reset them. So, yes. <laughs> I just figure when you're playing in somebody else's house, you play by their rules and you just go with it. That's, that's correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, I mean, that really is, that is that. What other questions do you have? Was there something in there and you were like, I don't know what you're doing? Or anything? Um, like um, the description, when, is there a um, certain uh, amount of words or amount of hashtags or or the sky's the limit? It really is the sky's the limit. Um, and the thing is, you're going to find as you go along what works for you. What is getting your pins repinned? And how do you know that? Just go to analytics? 
Yep, so in your analytics, you can, so your top impressions show you what pins in all your boards are getting the most attention. Okay, so you can, up here you can see more. And here, let me close some things so I'm going to get bogged down. Okay, so it's All right, so in the show more, it will let you see, I don't know, I don't even know how many it is, like your top 50 or so pins and which boards are doing the best for you. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be your pins, they're going to be other people's pins. I'm always kind of looking at the clicks, which tells me how well that pin is doing because I mean, I love that they're saving it, but I want them to go from Pinterest to my site. So, and that's what clicks tells you? Yes. Okay. That's how many they've actually clicked on, either to see it better or to click all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. And have you ever promoted it, like the button for promote? No, I don't have that kind of a budget. Um, I've heard really good things about people who have done that. Um, I just have not. It's really expensive? I've never done it either. Like on Facebook, it's like three dollars. So I'm sure Pinterest is comparable to that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But then, so what I do at least once or twice a week, I come into this piece and I will repin the pins that are getting the most clicks. That are my pins. So some of these are not my pins. So right now, one of my top posts is the how to reclaim respect. So it is getting a lot of repins, and I mm -hmm. just go through and open them up and I will repin them to my boards and when I'm in there I'm kind of looking so I've kind of seen it, it, it changes so the trends change on what is doing well what's not doing well as far as what's in the description mm -hmm. so I kind of look to see which keywords did I use that got this one so much attention so it's going to be the respect your husband in this one that gets searched a lot. Um, and if it makes sense to use that in another post, I just kind of mentally make a note that that sure. one pulled up in searches and I just save it. I keep um, kind of, I don't know, I call it like a dumping board for my things when I don't want to overwhelm a certain board to have like a support bloggers. So I'll just go through and repin them and Pinterest doesn't care where you pin it. Um, as long as it's coming back into their system, they will just let that go into people's queues whenever they don't. Kind of so when you clicked open link, that was reposting it? Yep. It was opening it up to this top bar and then I'm going in and manually reposting it. Okay. And you so. just repost it to something else? Yep. That's it. Okay. And I'm here, so why not do that? What else? What other questions? <laughs> oh, here. Let me show you one more thing over here in the analytics. So that's kind of what's going on total from all of your Pinterest boards. You can also see the activity from your site. So over here, if I click see more, it's going to show me all of my own pins. And I'm also looking at the clicks here. Mm -hmm. So these are either times where I have pinned from my site or other people have pinned from my site. And so I am going to also repin those things periodically. And if something is doing really, really well, so like this is doing really, really well. So I would open it up and look at it. This one, actually, no way. It always does well. It's funny. It's not what I usually write about, but there it is. Anytime you talk about sex, people are That's that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. If, the, if the pastor says we're going to talk about sex next week, the whole church is packed. That's it. Our pastor never gives us warning. And I'm always like, shoot, my eight year old is sitting right here. Okay. <laughs> we're having that conversation early. So if it's doing well, again, just a couple of times a week, I go in and repin it. And let's see. So you can look down and see all the activity that's gone on which is really cool. And you can see when things are not doing well, I also sometimes open them up and see what did I do here different than the other. So this came from the same post that's really rocking the other pin. And I was trying to do a split. There's um, a really cool lady, I think 
Katie Horner or something who talks about Pinterest strategy. And I sat in one of her workshops and she's like, you know, pins that have people's faces on them don't do as well. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to test you on that because I've been doing really well with people's faces. So in several posts that were doing really well, I posted one Pinterest size image with a person's face and one without. And I mean, by and large, so this one was saved. I clicked through one time. Where's the other one? Respect, respect. So this one's been clicked through 98 times. Mm. So, I mean, I'm sure it, the thing is, it's going to be different for different people in different niches. It just is. So, mm -hmm. you know, right. whatever, you know, take their advice just with a grain of salt, you know, see if it works. If it does, great. If it didn't, maybe it was just good for them, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Anything else? Mm, no, that's a lot. I'm so glad that you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a recording, please? Yeah. The older generation likes to relearn and re-listen. So. Yeah, 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 you're good. And I'm glad that you asked. The thing is, is like, I love to teach and I love to share. But if people don't ask, I don't know. So I'm sure there are other ladies in our group who are so excited you asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am, you know, I am just... Uh, trying to learn as much as I can, but it's oh. a lot, isn't it? Yes. yes. Listen, while I have you, there's one more piece, and if it's not good for you now, it might be later, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. When you were on your profile page, something that I did, I don't even know, it's been months ago, um, so my little following was, I think at the time it was like 400, I'm like, man, I don't know how to fix that, so another thing talked about um, making sure that your profile page has your keywords in it. That way, when they're searching for those things, they're going to pull up your pins, and that's great, but they could also be pulling up your whole profile, which would take them to your site. So, like, my um, keywords are um, marriage, motherhood, mentoring, biblical motherhood, parenting tips. So, I've got that in my, my name. Mm -hmm. A picture of me. They talked about um, having like where you're from, so people feel like you're a real person. They can connect with you, and that really has been great. And other people near me will message me sometimes and be like, "Oh, where are you?" I'm, and I'm like, "Wow, cool relationships. I love relationships. You know, that's yes. why we do this." Um, so having your profile in a way that's also optimized for your keywords, and you can do it within your boards too. So your boards, maybe, the boards have an option here to edit the board. Mm -hmm. And in the description of the board, you can have some of your keywords. And so when they search that, you know, mentoring millennials, if that's in your board, yes, they're going to pull up your um, pins, but it may pull up your board. And then they'll be like, oh, wow, look at all of these other pins in this board. Oh, and this lady really seems to be an authority on that. I'm going to go check out her site. Where's her profile? So it's just a way to make sure that you're getting the most out of your Pinterest. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Right. Yes. Thank you so much, Thank Tiffany. You. You're welcome. Anytime. Never, ever be afraid to ask. If I have time, I'm so, I don't know. That's just something God put on my heart this year is to be available. I don't know how to do everything, but I am so willing to share what I have learned. Well, you've taught me so much in many ways. So I'm so excited. And I, you know, I don't know what I have to offer, but I can pray for you. How's that? That so. is something I desperately need in this season. So yeah, you yeah. are, you're my prayer lady. I appreciate yes. that. Yes, yes, yes. So how about if I pray right now? I know other people are going to be listening. So I'll pray for all of us as we That's do this. Wonderful. Thank okay, you. let's do it. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord, for who you are. You are King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and we love you. Lord, this whole um, social media and Pinterest and Facebook, and it's a lot of work, but we're trying to get the message that you love people and that you're in the midst of everything that we do. So Lord, I pray right now for those who are listening, and I thank you for Tiffany, who's pouring into all of us, but I pray that each one of us will not forget to re, uh, revive, refresh our relationship and make it intimate with you, God. I pray that we would take time, set aside time, that we would be able to just be able to soak in and go deep with you in scripture. 
you say never to give up. You tell us in Galatians 6, 9, um, let us not grow weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we don't give up. So we're not giving up, Lord, but it is a lot. It's a lot for us with moms, as moms, with our little pumpkins underneath our wings. And then for um, some of us that say yes to everything and our plate is overwhelming, overwhelmed, Lord, whatever the case may be, we never want to be too busy for you. So Lord, we just ask that you would bless us with those moments of time where we can read the word, where you can speak and pour into us Holy Spirit. And I just pray now for every person that's listening that you would do whatever it takes to help them to be the godly woman that they need to be for you, for their family, um, and really for the world as we reach out through the internet. So God, use us in a mighty way. And we pray all of this in the matchless, incredible rescuer, our provider, our redeemer, our savior. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jamie. Okay. Yes, you too. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Bye.